explaining medical conditions is an essential part of everyday general practice and very important in terms of the CSA. Flanagan, in a very useful consultation model, talks about how to deliver an explanation that has real use, whether this be in real life or the CSA. In it, she talks about the fact that many registrars who fail the CSA do so because they don't allow themselves enough time for the clinical management within the 10 minute time frame. They're spending too much time data gathering. Uh, and as a result, they're under pressure, they're rushed, often they are unable to deliver an explanation and just give a diagnosis. And as a consequence, the patient's unable to appreciate what's wrong with them, how does it explain where they're at, and also they don't appreciate the relevance of the options that are being shared. So, certainly, if you're at minute seven in the CSA, Flanagan says, stop what you're doing and start explaining. Explanations themselves should be no more than 90 seconds long, preferably under 60 seconds. And what they've actually got to do is make sense of the patient's situation, elements of psychosocial impact, make sense of the symptoms they're experiencing, and intuitively make sense of the options that are going to be shared. And all of this has to be delivered in a jargon free, comprehensible way in under 90 seconds. As you can imagine, this requires practice and rehearsal. And what is important is in your explanations within the CSA and real life is that you're able to adapt the, your explanation to actually fit with the patient's symptoms that they have and explain the, the reason for the psychosocial impact, as well as intuitively make sense of the options that you feel, given in light the current evidence base or best practice, which of those options is best for them in that sort of situation. So, it's very important that you practice your explanations because if you practice your explanations you'll be able to deliver them in a conversational fluent manner also you'll actually have enough mental capacity not only in terms of delivering and adapting the explanation but actually seeing if the patient's on board with your explanation 